You won't believe what China just did sorry to the USA. China is making waves, but not the kind you're thinking of. In a bold move that's shaking up the global tech world, China is defying US sanctions and building its own undersea cable empire. This isn't just about connecting countries, it's about power, control and the future of the internet. Get ready to be amazed as we dive deep into China's ambitious project to dominate the undersea cable market. We'll break down the geopolitical implications, explore how China is bypassing US restrictions and analyze the potential impact on global communications. Don't miss this explosive revolution. Let's go. Welcome to Revo, now your go-to channel for all things revolutionary. At Revo Now, we are passionate about exploring the innovations, breakthroughs, and game-changing ideas that are shaping the world today. Our mission is to bring you the latest and most impactful advancements in technology, science, culture, business, and beyond, all in one place. Please subscribe, like, and share our videos. The internet, once a beacon of interconnectedness, a symbol of a world without borders, where information flowed freely and ideas were exchanged without hindrance, is now facing a significant challenge. Imagine a world where your access to information, entertainment, and even business opportunities depends not just on your internet connection, but on the geopolitical landscape of your country. This isn't science fiction, it's a potential reality. The potential consequence of a hidden technological battle unfolding beneath the waves, China undeterred by US sanctions and international scrutiny, is aggressively building a global network of undersea cables. These cables are not just physical infrastructure. They are the very arteries of the internet, carrying vast amounts of data across continents and oceans. This ambitious endeavor by China has sparked a heated debate among experts and policymakers. Will this new network fragment the internet, creating isolated digital spheres of influence where information is controlled and access is restricted based on political alliances? Or will it foster healthy competition, driving innovation and ultimately benefiting users worldwide? The stakes are incredibly high. Undersea cables are the backbone of the global internet, responsible for transmitting 99% of international data. They are essential for everything from streaming your favorite shows to conducting international business transactions. The control over these cables means control over the flow of information. China's move to build its own network of undersea cables is seen by some as a strategic effort to gain greater control over global communications. This could lead to a bifurcation of the internet, where different regions of the world are connected through separate networks, each with its own rules and regulations. Such a scenario could have profound implications for global trade, security and the free flow of information. Historically, the Internet has been a unifying force bringing people together and enabling unprecedented levels of communication and collaboration. However, the rise of nationalistic policies and the increasing importance of digital sovereignty are challenging this ideal. Countries are now more focused on securing their own digital borders and protecting their data from foreign influence. The debate over China's undersea cable network is part of a larger conversation about the future of the Internet. Will it remain a global commons, accessible to all, or will it become a fragmented landscape, divided by national interests and geopolitical rivalries? The answer to this question will shape the digital world for generations to come as we move forward. It is crucial to consider the implications of these developments. The Internet has the potential to be a powerful tool for good, promoting understanding and cooperation across borders. But it also has the potential to be weaponized, used to exert control and influence. The choices we make today will determine the kind of digital future we create. In the end, the question remains, will the digital iron curtain descend, dividing the world into separate spheres of influence? Or will we find a way to navigate these challenges, ensuring that the Internet remains a space for free and open exchange? Only time will tell, but the decisions made in the coming years will be critical in shaping the outcome. The future of the Internet hangs in the balance, and it is up to us to decide which path we will take. Will we embrace a vision of a connected world? Or will we allow the digital iron curtain to descend, creating a fragmented and divided digital landscape? The choice is ours, and the stakes could not be higher. Greetings, dear viewers. I'm Revo Now, your guide to this critical, yet often overlooked geopolitical arena. 
Today we're diving deep into the world of undersea cables, exploring China's audacious gambit and its potential to reshape the digital landscape as we know it. Fasten your seatbelts as we navigate this complex, high-stakes environment. Imagine the internet as a vast highway system. Websites, emails and videos are the vehicles traversing this network. Now picture, undersea cables as the superhighways beneath the ocean, carrying over 99% of all international data traffic. Control over these cables translates to control over the flow of information, a reality not lost on China. Enter China's Digital Silk Road, an ambitious project to lay thousands of miles of undersea cables connecting Asia, Africa, Europe and even South America. These cables, often financed through generous loans, come with strings attached, defying sanctions, building empires. The United States, wary of China's growing influence, has imposed sanctions on Chinese tech companies involved in cable laying. These sanctions are part of a broader strategy to limit China's reach in the global technology sector. The US government believes that by restricting access to critical infrastructure and technology, they can slow down China's rapid technological advancements. These sanctions aim to curb China's access to critical technology and financing. By targeting key companies and sectors, the US hopes to create significant roadblocks for China's tech ambitions. The financial restrictions are designed to cut off essential funding, making it difficult for Chinese companies to invest in new technologies and expand their operations globally. However, China has proven resilient, forging ahead with its plans and seeking alternative sources. Chinese engineers and scientists are working tirelessly to develop homegrown technologies and reduce dependency on foreign imports. The government is investing heavily in research and development, aiming to create a self-sufficient tech ecosystem. Additionally, China is forming new alliances and partnerships with other countries to secure the necessary resources and expertise. This clash highlights the intensifying rivalry between the two superpowers, now spilling over into the digital realm. The competition is not just about economic dominance but also about technological supremacy. Both nations are vying for control over the future of digital infrastructure, which will shape the global economy for decades to come. The stakes are incredibly high, and the outcome of this struggle will have far-reaching implications for international relations and global stability. But why does China care so much? One might wonder why China is so invested in undersea cables. The answer is multifaceted. First, it reduces China's reliance on its dominated infrastructure, bolstering its technological independence. Second, it provides a strategic advantage in the event of conflict. Third, it allows China to export its model of Internet governance characterized by greater control and censorship. The security dilemma, who controls the flow? In this section, we delve into the intricate and often opaque world of undersea cables, the lifelines of our global Internet infrastructure. These cables stretching across oceans and connecting continents are the backbone of our digital age. But who exactly holds the reins of this critical infrastructure? This brings us to a critical question. Who controls the undersea cables? These cables, often no thicker than a garden hose, carry 99% of international data. They are the unseen arteries of the Internet, enabling everything from financial transactions to social media interactions. The control over these cables is a matter of significant strategic importance. Currently, it's a mix of private companies and government entities, each with their own interests and agendas. Major telecommunications companies like AT and Verizon and T-Mobile, alongside tech giants such as Google and Facebook, own and operate significant portions of this network. Governments, too, have a stake, often partnering with these companies to ensure national security and economic stability, with the United States historically holding a dominant position. Since the early days of telegraphy, the U.S. has been at the forefront of global communications infrastructure. This dominance has allowed the U.S. to exert considerable influence over global data flows, ensuring that its interests are protected and promoted. China's entry into the fray disrupts this status quo, challenging the long-standing dominance of Western powers. Chinese companies like Huawei and China Telecom have rapidly expanded their reach, laying new cables and establishing partnerships around the world. This expansion is not just about business, it's a strategic move to gain greater control over global communications, raising concerns about cybersecurity and espionage. The involvement of Chinese companies in global telecommunications has sparked fears of potential backdoors and surveillance. 
Business and cybersecurity experts worry that these cables could be used for espionage, giving China access to sensitive data and communications. The potential for data interception and sabotage is a real concern. Undersea cables are vulnerable to a range of threats, from natural disasters to deliberate attacks. Damage to these cables can disrupt global communications, causing significant economic and social upheaval. Ensuring their security is a top priority for nations around the world. Fueling mistrust and tension between nations. The competition for control over undersea cables is not just a technical issue, it's a geopolitical one. As nations v for influence and security, the stakes are incredibly high. Diplomatic relations are strained and the potential for conflict looms large. The security dilemma of who controls the flow of information is a critical issue that will shape the future of global communications. The implications of this undersea cable race are far-reaching. Will it lead to a fragmented internet divided along geopolitical lines? Or will it foster competition, driving innovation and ultimately benefiting users worldwide? The answer remains uncertain. However, one thing is clear, the future of the internet hangs in the balance. The undersea cable saga is not just a technological competition, it's a battle for the future of the internet and the free flow of information. The outcome will determine whether we move towards a more open, interconnected world or one divided by digital borders and competing narratives. This is just the tip of the iceberg, dear viewers. What are your thoughts on China's undersea cable drive? Do you share the concerns about a fragmented internet? Let's spark a conversation in the comments below. And as we conclude our deep dive, I'm eager to hear from you. What other pressing global issues would you like me to unravel? Share your suggestions for future explorations and let's continue this journey of discovery together. Until next time. Subscribe to Revo now and join our vibrant community of forward thinkers, change makers, and revolutionaries.